one, isn't it? Because of the, the new... Uh, it's not new. It's been around Formula 1. Anyway, they're going. No formation lap. Is there no formation lap? No, sir. Okay, oh, gentlemen, we are going straight into it. No formation lap. Uh, Luke Smith heads away from pole position. Thomas around the outside. Is he going to get the move done? And they are starting on softs. So they didn't start on the inters all wet as Luke has pushed Thomas wide at turn one. Everyone else on the softs. Um, is that all? Is a little flag there from Thomas. Hopefully it won't affect him too badly. So he tries to go around the outside. To go around the outside again. As they come through into the comms. He's taking a very different line to Vexit. One overtake that was, but Vexit might have a switch back. He's got a much better exit, a much better run down into. Yeah, no one overtake that was, but Vexit might have a switch back. He's got a much better exit, a much better run down into. Yeah, no idea. Can I say, can I say, Bruce? Uh, but oh, Thomas has gone round. McLaren is round. Oh, yeah, coming for teammates, fun wing. So That's... it's been a horrid start from the McLarens. When it looked like one of them had gained the lead, but it's also damage for Thomas. He's lost the left, yeah, lost the left end plate. Let's see, it's the other side of that wing. They think he'll be fine. Yes, but we've seen lost the front wing. So must have run into his teammate or someone who's slowing down to react. He's lost his left end plate, so expect probably about five or six cars to come in on this lap to repair that damage. Yes, we will obviously come in. Will Gubbs in. Uh, Wells. Yes, Bob. It's ahead of him. Uh, again, no, it says Vex on the screen. We'll try and get that. Well, sorry. I will get them to try and change for next week. Uh, to Luke Smith, where he's leaving by nearly a second already. Uh, to his reserve standing teammate, Jonathan Chen. Uh, in second place, then it's In through a rouge. Hold on tight. Make sure your seat belts are fastened, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And tray tables are upright because we're going to go climbing up through one of the best sections in Formula 1. Coming out of Covering off Luke Smith at the moment, doing a very good reserve driver and filling some big boots there for Mr. Ace Ritchie. And now it's up to Carter to get a very good exit once again out of this seat. Just missed it last time around. Can he get something done so now? Think, yeah, the Alpines are going to tow each other. Will Jonathan go for the move? Is Luke going to let him through? Luke doesn't let him through. And looks like Jonathan, he could be in danger. He's closing a bit now. It's probably... Using, no, not using overtake, so maybe look for the higher aero. Uh, and speaking of differences, uh, oh, Beak is Beak out. Is retired. That is a crash. Yeah. And that is a full safety car. Do yeah. they react? No! Oh, Luke they missed nearly it! reacted. No. Um, no, yeah. Luke didn't miss it. He was right in front of the pit lane. He had the chance of pit and decided against it. Whether that was a call of Jonathan behind that red uh, Mercedes safety car. So he may not actually lose much from coming in on this next lap, and they don't have to double stack. So, good call. Uh, maybe a, a very high IQ move from the Alphas right now. If it, if everyone was going at full speed, that would drop him just behind Yenab. We have to remember because of that delta, that's probably what going to reduce it to sitting there on the right hand side. Will Jonathan take the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix? It's going to be close, like I said, but no, Luke has actually got it by quite a bit. Wow. So, Okay, it looked like he went and then stopped again. And now now he's fully gone. And look at that behind. That's already Cody going for third place. Out breaks later than Ferrari. Breaks later than the Alpine 2. Is he trying to separate them? Later than Ferrari. Breaks later than the Alpine 2. Is he trying to separate them? Doesn't quite have the traction on the exit. It's Carter will be trying to get back past the Red Bull. And they go up through Radion. But look at the toe. Yes, already is. <laughs> it looks like they, they both retired. Will Gibson and Thomas and a, a Rouge and Radion, so it, it looked like maybe they were trying to go side by side through there and it's ascended horrible. Jack and Marcus, I think it is. Back of P7, PN, and P6 and 7, sorry. That's the AlphaTauri versus the, the Merc, if it is. I'm just all lost at the moment. Carter's putting some pressure on further up the field, so it battles all over the place. Yeah, we don't know where to look at the moment of course. Have you never met John John Gen Che? I've met Gen Che for a couple of years right now. I'm, I'm pretty he's, sure. He's right. he's he can uh, handle sweat quite well, mate. He's like she's know, probably chilling there, listening to some Italian opera in the car. Oh, somebody's gone really wide in the background. Like like just looking for every opportunity yeah. to get past the Alpha Tower. Is he going to get it done here? Oh. There's a lot of moving around going on. There is. Here yeah. we go down the inside. They're being very aggressive with each other. Contact. Uh, Marcus has had to cut the corner. Because the after race oh, entertainment. Marcus. Oh, yep. Yeah. Marcus went into the barrier. 
and I, I don't know if someone's collected him. No, I don't think so. So that's just him going backwards into the barrier, out of the race. Luke is Definitely. pretty happy to have Mr. Chenjo step into the, to the boots there of uh, Mr. Ace Ritchie in the Alpine, doing a solid job right now to protect Mr. Luke in his championship, but keeping his championship well alive right now. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. In, obviously, in Oh, that's early. Yep. It is early. That means DRS might come back the other way. And that's what they do, don't they? The drivers actually slow down to allow the 29. So he's uh, he's a little bit down. I mean, that's about five kilometers now slower than the Alpine car. That's why he's having. A, that's why he's struggling right now in the Camel Straight. He just doesn't have the speed. Like he's going to catch him down that, or even with that DRS activation. But by the time he gets close enough, it's breaking yeah. into Lacombe. So it's not enough. It's not going to. It's not going to pay off. And Chen has been around the block a few times. He's uh, and they can't he's... find a place past this brilliant strategy for the Alpine drivers. The Ferrari has nowhere to go. He can't sit in the middle. There is no middle. He, he because Chen Chen Jai burnt all his DRS off, and Luke had some saved. Ah, uh, right. Sorry, I yeah. thought you were talking about the other way around. No, yeah. that way uh, now. Oh, Carter might be going yeah. through around the outside. Oh, that's made Luke break a lot later than he wanted to. Though this is going to give Carter a go for it. Uh, both of them are having a great turn one. I think Carter's is trying to compromise Luke as much as possible. He's already got a good run as they come down to a rouge. Oh, no, Dunther oh. hits one. Oh. Yeah, no. That's burnt it all. That's burnt brilliantly for the Alpine drivers. Yeah. Because now yeah, Luke has an energy in the bank there. And they'll switch it through. They switched it. Are nope. they going to switch it? They might. Nope, they just coming into the last sector now. Lap 14. Once they cross the line, there will be eight laps to go. There's a yellow flag sector two and three. That's Mark. He's lost his front wing, so and whether that's from going into a wall or a collision with the driver, we don't quite know. Yeah. I, I don't think Carter's using his ERS wisely. Yeah, he, um, but uh, here we go. Gam to Le Combs. Up he's gone! That was nearly a spin for the championship leader. He's already had so that. Difficult one. overtake. Carter's got to send one here right now, Pats. This is going to be the first opportunity he could get into the bus stop chicane. Where's he going to go? Inside, outside? Where's Luke going to park the car? Carter's not leaving him a choice. Trying to go around the outside at turn one. Going to get the better exit. At least where he slipped the rears a bit, so that's really eating enough of his ERS. Because of that, he just can't put on an effective attack. He's really hurting himself with his ERS management. He has to change his tactic, and he has to do it now. Because he needs Cody's sitting in the background just waiting for something to happen, I guess. As, uh, you know, Mr. Cody Lawrence, Mr. Consistent, uh, can get podiums. Luke Smith. Look at that, it can almost reach out and touch the rear diffuser of that car. But once again, look what's going to happen. Chen is going to slow down a little bit, allow Luke Smith, and there's no way to go for the Ferrari. They blocked him off. Brilliant strategy again. He can't overtake if there's Carter. nowhere to Carter's go. Carter's going to go for it, Carter's yeah. going to go for it. Down the inside. Oh, it's again, I still have no doubt to pronounce that corner, but he's gone down the inside. He got him. To no name. And he has got past him into the bus stop chicane. Luke Smith's going to go on the outside here. It's going to be very risky for the biscuit. Ooh. And he's going to compromise his exit speed. And definitely, I think at the moment, Carter can hold this one. No, Daniel last late breakers. Well, look at Carter. He's going to try and get the better exit. He wants that position right back in there. Again, Cody, he's, just, he, he's there, but he's just he's not in that striking distance that Carter's the highs are actually about 5% better on the front left. So come the very end of this race, Carter might actually start understeering compared to Cody, so this could be interesting. As you mentioned, you've got to be in it, don't you? You have to concentrate. You're going to get sweaty. Showers are going to be required. So he's using up his overtake, so is Luke. In response, they're both going to catch up to Chen Jay. We could There's the block. having a bit of a moment here. Oh, there's the bloke, oh. the block. Yeah, it's again nearly a Carter's collision. very close. He might dive it down the inside. Luke knows he wants to do that. It covers the inside. Carter tries to go around the outside. And with how tight it is here, there's not really a switchback available. Uh, that's with that very, very unfortunate. Yeah. That is... Yeah, I would ignore that go. one at the moment. Now he's gone... Oh, wide he's he's spun. Spun. oh that's oh, her. It's, Carter. No. Yeah, he's, he's re manually retired. Yeah, That's he's manually retired. What? You should not be upset with your driving skill, Carter, because that was amazing. It was a great race, but he, he should have pulled into it, because I'm pretty sure retiring 
um, retiring on track is he going to score? Give it up, mate. I don't think Chen is going to give it up. He's using the ZOS, but he's already under 10%. Luke he's... isn't, so he's gonna suck. Look, he, you can visibly see how much he's catching. He wants to get this done at the bus stop. Luke Smith, and, oh no, he's no. not gone for it. He he it. it. So Chen Jai's gonna win this one I... there from Luke Smith. Yep, there we go. Is an Alpine one, two. Luke Smith in second. Uh, Cody third. You know, fourth. Because of that retirement. So. Well, Alpine, look out. This is what happens when you let Chen Jai in the car. <laughs> he can, he's the man, the only man this evening that's beaten. Luke Smith, shake that champagne. Chen Jay's in town. In Spa.